hello everyone welcome back to the cloud ops junction so in this video we will have a closure look on sccm hierarchy we'll understand what is the sccm hierarchy is all about as we know sccm or a system center configuration management is a comprehensive uh, management tool or a solution developed by the microsoft it effectively deploy manage applications software updates uh, OSD that is operating system deployment it's secure your devices and it's organized your infrastructure it's an infrastructure management tool we already know that so at its core SCCM configuration represent the organization structure through which SCCM manage or control resources such as device users software deployment and in an enterprise scale so this hierarchy structures enable administrator to organize or manage the resources effectively regardless the size the complexity of your organization structure so if you see on the left hand side i have taken this diagram so you will find uh, on the top you will find a cas is there cas is stand for central administration side i will we will come to it later from the cas you will see two branches uh, are coming one is ps01 and another is ps02 from ps02 you will find a sub branches coming that is ps03 so these ps1 and ps2 these are known as primary site so let's break down the key component of the ccm hierarchy so there are three basic components one is primary site secondary site and the cache so these two are primary this is our cache and this is our secondary site so this is the sccm site hierarchy so if you remember when we were doing the sccm installation uh, we have installed the primary site it was the first site so the primary site is a fundamental building block of sccm hierarchy each primary site serves as a management point so what it mean i mean if this is a primary site there will be a management point and distribution point okay so each site would be having a prime a management point a distribution point for a specific geographical locations in your organization within the enterprise now these sites are responsible for directly managing client within your boundaries for handling tasks such as deployment patching inventory collections and compliance and monitoring now you can see i have one uh, one primary site over here that is ps01 now let's take an example in this way we have uh, we have a we are we have a large enterprise customers or we have presence in worldwide suppose i have a office in london and i have a office in us so that's a very simple example of we can have a two primary site and we can manage individual resource at an individual level so now the people from let's understand ps01 is my site in london so whatever the machine that is connected to london from the london will get the that data from ps01 now we have another office that is in us so now this office in us so now what will happen all the users who are connected who are logging from us will get their data from us sent uh, us primary servers now think about you have another office in us so now this primary server ps2 suppose this is in phoenix and we have another office and this serves around 5000 customers or 5000 machines or 5000 devices that got their deployment from ps02 now we have another office in us also that this could be possible now this office in new jersey so now this office in new jersey so what we can do as an alternative we can we can spin a distribution point and a management point in new jersey and people can get their content from there however there will be a latency issue now people will send their metadata everything to the uh, phoenix phoenix uh, primary servers now there will be a lot of 
congestion or the traffic will continue flowing between the two, two sides. Now what we will do, we will create, what we will do, we will create a primary site. We, we already have a primary site, okay, in US, in Phoenix, what we will do, we will extend it. Where? We will extend it to the New Jersey. Now this New Jersey site, what will be happen, the people who are from New Jersey will get their content from here. Okay, now this New Jersey site would be having their own database, their own management point, their own uh, distribution point and the people who are logging from New Jersey will get their data from New Jersey site. So what will be happen, the congestion will be less. Now policies, deployment will be get much faster rather than we are getting it from Phoenix server from here. Okay, now all the data will be getting from here for for New Jersey Phoenix will get it from here and for London people they will get their they, they will get their uh, policies or deployment from PS, PS1 now secondary site is clear secondary site is nothing it's just the extended version of our primary site specially to serve the a remote location or a re remote site and this secondary site has its own database its own primary servers uh, sorry it, its own uh, distribution point management point and it has so that the they can get the content locally from the secondary site now primary site is the concept of primary site is clear now okay and the secondary site secondary site is nothing is just the extension of your primary site so that the remote locations can be served now if you see we are in a single organization right and we have created three different sites now what will happen this will be having its own database this site ps02 will be having its own database ps3 will be an own database now what will be happening now this site will not have the visibility of this site this site will not have the visibility of ps2 ps2 will not be have the visibility of ps1 so now it will be very difficult to manage this these uh, these sites to manage this site what microsoft has done they have created the concept of central administration site central administration site is on the top of the sccm site hierarchy which provide the centralized view and the management point for the entire hierarchy. CAS facilitate, coordinate or communication between multiple primary sites or associated with the secondary site. It also enable hierarchy wide tasks such as reporting, software update, synchronization and role based administration. Suppose now what will happen? This will have its own database, this will have its own database and this will have its own database. Now three sites have three own database. Now how this site will be managing or will have the access to the site? Now PS01 will send their data to CAS. Same will happen to this and same will happen to this. Secondary will send the data to primary, primary will send the data to cache, this primary will send the data to cache so now cache will have its own database and this, and from the cache if anybody wanted to see or manage their infrastructure they can do it from the cache server so that's the definition of cache so now we know that uh, so now we know that each of the site like primary site or a secondary site or a cache site they have their own database so whenever a client suppose on this ps1 if a client is communicate these clients are communicating to the ps1 this database on the on the site database will store the information on the tables and once this information is stored over here there will be a replication cycle that will be taking place so whatever the information that is stored on the sql will be replicated onto the primary server on, on the cache server similar thing will take place over here whatever the client that is uh, that that is reporting to the secondary uh, on the primary on, on the another primary site 
will get stored on the database and that database will replicate onto the cache so now on the cache database you will having the information of the primary one primary two as well as secondary three as well as on secondary server as well why secondary servers because secondary server will send the send the data to primary site and this primary site will carry forward it to the cache now the cache is the administrator site from the administration site so if you are logged into the administration site then you will be able to find the information of all these site servers okay you will be able to find the details of the primary site secondary sites and uh, primary sites and secondary sites also now you will be able to manage the reports for the reporting purpose for deployment purpose also for to to get the centralized access you can do it from the primary site now while planning let's talk about planning and designing so planning and designing is a very important uh, phase that uh, that is every administrator take uh, take it as on a first priority building an effective accm hierarchy requires uh, planning and designing and below are the few features that you should consider one is scalability uh, for the first, for the future growth you should design your infrastructure in such a way so that you can expand it now designing i mean you can reduce redundancy redundancy implement redundancy and critical point in the hierarchy to ensure the high availability and fault tolerance can be take place network consideration whenever you are designing your infrastructure make sure you 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 keep a uh, eye on your network uh, device uh, on your network also you make sure your bandwidth latency are in place up to the mark or while while uh, planning your uh, ssm infrastructure you should consider the networks a network also you should ensure that uh, there is no a uh, network load on other servers also and uh, you have equally distributed this uh, the load according to the hierarchy or uh, to the i mean you have actually placed the server as per your requirement primary on a place and if there is a requirement of secondary optionally for the performance you should go ahead and do that Uh, there are few of the best practices uh, that you should consider uh, for a better performance i would say regular maintenance i mean you should perform a regular maintenance tasks such as db cleanup software update synchronization health checkup to do uh, to have your infrastructure in a healthy state you should monitoring report uh, as we know um, sccm has a inbuilt report and alerts that you can uh, you can trigger in your environment to to have it and uh, third most important point that you stay updated you keep your infrastructure up to date with the latest patches and the update so that uh, you have the latest features to use so that was a small introduction about the sccm site hierarchy hope you have enjoyed the lecture if you yes please like and subscribe thank you so much